Hi guys, and welcome back to Trend Location. How you guys doing? We hope you guys are having a great day, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about places that you can snorkel. But before we do begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications, so then you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And without further ado, let's get right into this one. First up, the Philippines. Don't usually think of the Philippines as a go-to destination for snorkeling? Well, WWF's Sano stresses that it's one of the most beautiful places for underwater activity. Many of our frequent snorkelers have said that this was their favorite trip. They were delighted and surprised, he says. Made up of more than 7,000 islands, the Philippines is home to one of the most populous and diverse ecosystems on the planet. A notable standout is the Bay of Don Sul, home to whale sharks, the world's largest living fish. Visitors have the opportunity to swim next to these gentle and friendly giants. Another area worth checking out is the Noah Noah Island, which has thousands of colorful reef fish and thriving reefs. The Galapagos Islands. Unlike most spots on this list, snorkeling in Ecuador's Galapagos Islands doesn't revolve around colorful coral and tropical fish. This is the place to see big marine life. We're talking sea lions, sharks, dolphins, turtles, and even penguins. This is the place to see big marine life. Being the basis of Charles Darwin's theory of evolution, the Galapagos Islands of snorkelers fascinating and unique mammals both on land and beneath the sea, the island's remote location means that underwater wildlife are friendly and approachable, mainly because they don't encounter humans at all that often. There's a good chance you'll be approached by a playful sea lion or a group of turtles that will happily swim alongside you, says Jim Sano, vice president of travel, tourism, and conservation with Worldwide Fund for Nature. Komodo National Park Through Komodo National Park, celebrity inhabitants steal the show. It's one of the only five islands in the world where you can see Komodo dragons in the wild. The snorkeling here is not to be overlooked. Being a world heritage site for more than 30 years, the reefs and the islands of the Indonesia National Park are heavily protected giving their abundance of underwater life and corals a chance to flourish. The area is also rich in nutrients, thanks to the cold water that flushes into the park from the Indian Ocean, keeping the marine life fed. You really know you're in a different part of the world when you're in Komodo, says Coral Triangle Adventures Goldman. The Coral Triangle, stretching from eastern Borneo all the way to Bali, the Philippines, most of Indonesia, and the Solman Islands. The Coral Triangle is the center of the world's marine biodiversity. It's from the 70% of all known coral species in the world and encompasses a 647 million hectares of land and sea. What makes it so awesome for snorkelers is that you don't have to go deep to check out the region's 2,000 species of free fish which just hang out just below the surface. The region also nurtures six of the world's seven marine turtle species. Silver Bank is only one of a few places in the world where humans can swim and snorkel alongside humpback whales. It's in a relatively shallow stretch of the Caribbean Sea, making it off limits to large ships. This makes it a safe haven for the North Atlantic humpback whale population to mate and give birth. Snorkelers can catch up with the humpback whales between December and April when they pass through the area. And lastly, Raja Ampat. At the end of the list is Raja Ampat, or Four Kings, located on Indonesia's West Papua province. Experts say it's hard to find anywhere else in the world that compares, given it's got the world's greatest concentration of marine life. For a region of its size and 75% of all known coral species in the world. A marine oasis with more than a thousand different species of fish, sea turtles, sharks, and manta rays. Snorkeling here means largely having the place to yourself as the isolated islands are scarce of people. Snorkelers come face to face with fish and coral in every direction while swimming the waters of this archipelago, which is made up of 50,000 square kilometers of islands and water. 
Each day you get to experience something different, says marine biologist and snorkeling guide Lee Goldman of Coral Triangle Adventures. And that's all we have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, there's your drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content like this. Hand me up to We'll see you guys on the next time and until then, take care. Bye guys!